Hey guys, how you doing? Hey guys, it's Lauren from Unraveling the Pattern here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick channel update. Well, we'll see how quick it is and do something a little bit different, something new. I'm calling it the Wheel of Time Roundup. As the show gets closer, we're going to have more and more of this kind of stuff coming out. And I want to make sure that there's somewhere where people can go just to know what is out there. Maybe there's a great content creator that you would be the perfect fan for, but you just don't know it exists. So my hope is to try to aggregate all of that content and show you. Think of it like Daniel Green's fantasy news, but way less cool and only Wheel of Time related. Now, pro tip, if you watch this at two times speed, you'll have a much better time. So consider just clicking the little two times speed button on YouTube and watching it that way. Or, you know, if this isn't your cup of tea, that's okay too. I know that this is not the type of video that everyone has subscribed to my channel for. Also, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Even if this isn't the content you originally subscribed for, I promise the deep dives are still coming. That's one of the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video is just an update of what I've been working on. I'm really excited about my next deep dive. It's a lot of fun to work on and it's going to be amazing. Also, if you're a content creator and I missed you or missed something that you did, please don't take offense, just let me know. I would love to feature you in a future Wheel of Time Roundup. All right, this channel isn't just about me, it's about all kinds of content creators and I wanna get into that, but really quickly, I wanted to give you a channel update. First things first, I had this amazing meeting with Nablus. He and I talked a while about how to be successful on YouTube, some do's and don'ts of YouTube. He's been around longer than I have and he's received a lot of help from Daniel Green. And I thought some of the things he brought up were really important and really good. One of those things is just understanding the YouTube algorithm. This is something that I'm still learning. I don't know exactly how this works, but I think one of the important things that I need to do is release more content more regularly. Also, sometimes that content needs to be longer. 10 minutes or longer is better. And that can be difficult because I'm putting so much time and effort into the animations on my channel that then making every single video 10 minutes, it just means there are going to be fewer videos. Now, I want to do that. I want these videos to be in depth. I don't want to skip over things. That's the whole point of a deep dive. But in order to create other content, I'm going to do more videos like this as well to supplement what I'm already doing with my deep dives. So keeping in line with the spoiler free deep dives, the next big project that I'm really excited to work on is actually called the Wheel of Timelines. Now there's a website called wheeloftimelines.com and it is incredible and I'm going to include a link to that here. But the wheeloftimelines.com follows the start of the books starting with chapter one and then you can follow all the way till the end of the books on the map and it's really amazing it has some great details it's an awesome resource i reached out to the creator of that website and asked if i could use the term wheel of timelines in my video series about the history of the wheel of time and he said that i could i think his website is incredible you should definitely check it out so my next two or three deep dive videos maybe four depending on how much i have to cram in there will be starting at the moment of creation and then moving to the first age and everything we know about the first age, then everything we know about the second age and the age of legends, and then we'll get into the third age. Once the books start, that's where I'm going to end this series. So I'm trying to just give like a history of everything leading up to chapter one of the eye of the world. That's the goal of this series. There will be some spoilers in it, but I'm going to try to keep it sort of mild. Also, when I say I'm going to discuss everything, I'm not going to discuss every single year and everything that we have in the histories, there's a lot to go over, but I'm gonna hit all the big parts and I'm going to create this really amazing timeline. I've been researching it and I've started building the timeline and I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna create this timeline that spans everything we know and then I'm gonna try to break it down into pieces to make sense of it all. It really helps to just visualize the history of the Wheel of Time, when things like the War of Power and the War of Shadow happened, when the Time of Madness happened, when the Breaking happened, when Manethrin, was formed, all of those things. I'm really excited about it. So expect the next few deep dive videos to be focused in on this timeline that I'm building. It's gonna be awesome. I'm still gonna do some spoilery videos, don't worry, but those will be more laid back like this. Also, I really want to do like live stream chats. I think it would be really fun to just do a unraveling, unraveling the pattern series where I watched the video that I recently posted. For example, the one on the one power, I watched through it live with other people and answer questions. We talk about spoilers. I think that would be a really fun way to do that. Let me know if you're interested. I'll try to set up some time to do a live stream. Speaking of live streams, I thought it might be fun to play the old Wheel of Time game and stream it and then just chat with fans, talk to people about the Wheel of Time. I probably would do something like that on Twitch, maybe on YouTube, I'm not sure yet. If that's something you're interested in, let me know as well. I'm working with some amazing content creators behind the scenes. I'm working with Nablus right now. 
And I can't talk much about that project yet, but once it comes out, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited about that one. One of the things that I am super, super excited about with Will Time right now is the content creators that are popping up. There's an upping of the quality and of the types of content that are being created, which I think is super fun because when I started making Wheel of Time videos, which was back in my first video came out in October of 2018. Okay, so we're now in 2020. This is into my, we're about a year and a half through, okay? Uh, the only other person that was really making any type of Wheel of Time content at that point was Daniel Green, and he only had a couple videos, and he was at like 6,000 subscribers, 7,000 subscribers. Well, he just did his 150K live stream the other day. There's a lot of stuff popping up now where not only is there more Wheel of Time content so you can kind of get stuff from other people, but some of the quality is just crazy good. Uh, uh, and I'm excited about where it's going. Um, what I would always tell you is this, when somebody's got a new YouTube channel and you really enjoy their delivery or the type of content, guys, don't get too hung up on the, the quality of their video at the beginning uh, or uh, even just the sound quality. Like, Focus on the quality of their content in terms of what they make because a lot of times the, you, YouTube starts off as a major hobby. Um, and so... You know, when people are getting started, the visual quality may not be great, but what they're saying could be awesome. And if you support those people um, and you give them your views and you give them your subscriptions, it it helps them promote what they're doing and they're going to get better at it as they do more of it. And if you like what they do at the beginning, think about how good it will be at the end. And I, and I say that as somebody who I certainly do not make like top quality visual content. Like I can't touch what unraveling the pattern does. In fact, what Lauren does is so good that I'm having him help me and work with me in a couple of videos that I cannot wait to get out to you guys because they're going to be awesome. Um, but like that stuff I can't do. Uh, I don't have time to learn it. Um, and he just makes such good content. Um, Dusty Wheel, like, uh, the innkeeper, Matt, is probably the best interviewer and runs a such a quality, such a quality call-in talk show. It's such a unique thing for YouTube. And it's really like I, I know the people that watch it get hooked on it. There are so many great podcasters out there. There are so many new up-and-coming YouTubers out there. So I just I want to throw all that out there. I don't mean to drool all over all this stuff, guys, but if there are new people out there, support them. Um, and help them get better at what they do. Also, there are some other podcasters and YouTubers who have reached out to me but haven't quite launched yet. Once those things are more firm, I'll be sure to mention those in these videos. You know, I I've been thinking about doing a responding to comments video where I talk about the comments that people have done, and I'm almost to 2,500 subscribers, so when I hit 2,500 subscribers, I think I'm gonna do something like that. Also, another video that I have in mind is just a who am I video. I know that's sort of narcissistic, but the idea is I think it would be funny to kind of learn how I came into the Wheel of Time. I even found a picture recently online of me reading the Wheel of Time as a teenager. I thought it would be fun to just do like a little mini documentary about me, who I am, why I love the things I do, how I learned about animation, how I learned about the Wheel of Time, and why this is so important to me. So I might do something like that at the 2,500 subscriber mark as well. Sometimes when people make comments, it hurts a little. Not too much. I have fun with it. Most people are very nice. But one of the comments that I've received pretty much once or twice every video is I put too many memes in. If I just didn't put in the memes, it would be better. It would be more serious. I think it's funny to intercut the silly memes with the seriousness of the video personally, and I'm going to keep doing that. But in response to that, I decided to make this video, which I thought was fun. The wheel turns and ages come and pass leaving memories that become legend legend fades to myth myth yes and even uh, myth <laughs> is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again 
All right, enough about me. Let's talk about some awesome content that's come out in the Wheel of Time recently. First of all, Wad on Prime, the official Amazon Prime Wheel of Time Twitter account, has been doing a reread. They do it every Wednesday. It's been a lot of fun to participate in. Please go check that out. I got really excited about the Wad on Prime reread, and I made some trailers for it. All the buildup was really exciting to me, and then when it happened, well, it wasn't terrible, but I think it could be better. They're still learning, we're still learning, and at the end of the day, this is just kind of a fun thing they do on Wednesdays. What do you like about the reread? What do you think could be improved? What are they doing right? What are they doing wrong? What would you like to see happen? John from What Up had a really great idea. Include cast members in the discussion. Have them ask a question to the people on Twitter. Have one of them respond to a question. I think that would be amazing. What do you guys think? Matt, the innkeeper from The Dusty Will, John from What Up and myself decided that it would be fun to get a little bit more spoiler engagement with the reread. So we started doing something called What Takes, kind of like Hot Takes. We're going to give you guys a prompt on Twitter and we want you to just give us some thoughts. The more spoilery, the better. The idea here is to get some cool community engagement and we don't just want it to be content creators who are responding to this. Anyone is welcome to respond to this. If you can, just pull out your phone and record a video of yourself, great. If you can't, that's okay too, but the whole goal of this is to get people engaged and thinking more about the show in a deeper level. One of my favorite threads that came out of our Watt takes was the idea that Rand is like a Disney princess, and there was some great discussion about that. Can you believe it? They called me the Dragon Reborn. Me, the wool-headed sheep herder. Dragon Reborn, can't you just see it? Dragon Reborn, their little pawn. No sir, not me, I will not be it. I want much more like to be trained by lawn. I want a marriage to my girlfriend, Egwene. Although I liked the daughter heir And that cute girl from the inn Yeah, I think her name was Min Gee, I wonder where Celine has been I was recently on the Dusty Wheel. We talked about spoilers related to my latest One Power video. If you haven't seen that, check out the link in the description. By the way, there will be links for all of this stuff in the description. One of the things that I loved about this discussion was the community engagement. We had some people call in. We had one Twitter follower whose name was Megan call in. She goes by Megween or Meg Wayne, and I thought that was really funny. She did this really in-depth study of the One Power and astrology, and I thought it was fascinating. She even created a spreadsheet about that, and I wanted to show that to you guys. This stuff's really cool. I don't know how you guys do this. I'm doing it once, and I can't do it. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Don't hit subscribe, because I'm not gonna upload anything else. See you never. Another thing that's going on right now on Twitter, the Black Tower podcast is trying to get the fandom to name the fandom. There was a bit of controversy recently when Watt on Prime called us wheelies, some people didn't like that. I don't like the name Wheelies. I think it's silly. It's kind of like Trekkies, but worse. So there's been a lot of suggestions. What should we call ourselves? Different people have always called the Wheel of Time fan community different things, but the Black Tower podcast has come in and they've created a bracket of, I think, 98 or 100 different name ideas. And they're doing this bracket on Twitter. It's been a lot of fun to participate in. I'm personally partial to Watchers. I think that's kind of a fun name, but there's a lot to choose from. I don't know exactly what the best solution is for this, but let's hope it's not wheelies. There's a website called watseries.com, and they recently did a breakdown of what might be the budget for the upcoming TV show. If you haven't seen that, check it out. The budget could be more than $75 million just for the first season. Now, some of this is speculation, but it's really interesting to think about and has me really excited. Okay, before this next one, a little bit of a disclaimer. If you feel the need to argue about this next thing, I will probably just delete your comments on YouTube. So you've been warned. It's not that I don't think discussion is important. I just want to keep my channel clean from all of that. It's my channel. I can do what I want. If you want to have a personal message with me, join Discord and we can chat. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, there was this incredible video that was done by Matt, the innkeeper from The Dusty Will, and Daniel Green. It was like 45 minutes long. It was deeply researched, and it talked all about some of the racial controversies that have gone on since the casting 
of the Wheel of Time TV series was announced. This is pretty serious stuff, but also they did a good job and made it fun and entertaining. I would highly recommend going to watch that. More importantly than listening to some white guys talk about it, I found this other really awesome channel that I wanted to give a shout out to called Call Me Nakomi. You should definitely check out her views on this. Call Me Nakomi on YouTube did a fascinating job talking about her reactions to it. And I think you should definitely check that out. Still a lot to talk about. This is kind of a big roundup. Probably as I do these roundups more often, they won't be quite so long. There's this incredible channel that recently came out. This guy's been working like 10 months on this project. Not enough people have seen it. You have to go subscribe to this channel. You have to go download the music from SoundCloud or listen to it online. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think his name is Andre or Andre Vorsa. He did a soundtrack for the entirety of The Eye of the World, and it's just beautiful. I've listened to it several times. More people need to see this. More people need to subscribe. Also, there's some artwork in his videos that's incredible by someone named Elena Snez. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the kind of content that I love to see coming out of the community. Please go check that out and subscribe. Rikappa Sadai is someone I've mentioned before. I absolutely love her videos. I think she's incredible, and I wanted to give her more attention. Really quick, I just wanted to read a little bit about Rikappa Sadai and her channel. I plan to write future posts as Rikappa Sadai, but I thought the first should come from me. For any who are wondering, I'm a cis gay man who puts on a wig for the Wheel Talk videos. I go by he, him. Rikappa Sadai, a fictional cis woman, goes by she, her, and wields Sidar. Neither of us identifies as transgender. If I discuss gender or sexuality as Rikappa, it will be from the perspective of a gay male. I expect those conversations to come up. I have a lot of thoughts about the Wheel of Time and gender. The Light Illumine the Wheel of Time community. Brian Adam Davis. I wanted to read this because I think this is very important. We need more voices like this in the community. I love it. I love this idea. Be sure to go and check out Recappa Sedai's channel. It's amazing. There's been some really cool news related to the Wheel of Time TV show, but you know, John from What Up already does an amazing job covering that, and I don't really want to step on his toes, so I'm just going to put some links to his channel and recent stuff related to the TV show. I will mention that there was a really cool interview that Daniel Henney, the actor who plays Lan, Lawn, however you say it, there's been some controversy about that recently, and he talked a little bit about the show, and the things he said got me very excited. So if you're more interested in that, go and watch John from What Up's channel, or I'll include a link to the interview with Daniel Henney as well. I'm not really sure I need to plug Nablus. You all know who he is. He's a much bigger YouTuber than I am, but he recently did a great video on Nineve, and you should definitely check that out. The Dusty Wheel recently has been doing some amazing things, and recently they hit 5,000 subscribers. They had a little bit of a celebration. That's so exciting. I'm so excited for you, Matt. Keep up the great work. There's another YouTuber who's very well known in Discord and on Twitter, but his name is The Badger Reborn, and he has started a YouTube channel, and I love his videos. He has some great insights. He did a really great video recently called Min is a Dark Friend, and he presented evidence for why Min is a Dark Friend. You should definitely check that out. It's a little tongue-in-cheek, but that's what I like about it. Dragon Mount Community Show YouTube channel recently did a new promo and intro update for their channel, and it looks great. I feel like I have some competition with the animation. Really good stuff. Corey Lansdale is an amazing Wheel of Time artist. He does other art, of course, but he's been doing some live streams and some other things. You should definitely check that stuff out. Link's in the description. Another new YouTuber who's new to the scene, or at least new to me, is Lesby Nerdy. She's doing a fantastic job, and she has some really great insights into the Wheel of Time characters and things, things that I'd never thought about before. Please check out her YouTube channel. There's a new podcast called Heroes of the Horn that I've noticed on YouTube recently. They're coming up with some great stuff. They have really good quality production value, and I love their insights as well. Go and check them out. Matt Wolf, who's well known on Twitter as Landman Dragoran, is doing this really great series on YouTube and Twitter about sword fighting and learning some of the sword techniques from the Wheel of Time. You should check out his videos. He's got a great series called How to Not Get Killed. Okay, this one's really cool. There's this person on Twitter called The Kin Intern. They're doing some amazing artwork that I think more people need to see. Specifically, they did these really awesome mood boards for the Wheel of Time, where they took different actors who are going to be playing the different characters in the show, and then added some color and imagery to this to give it this sort of design feeling that I think is absolutely incredible. I hope to use some of the looks that were created in these mood boards in some of my future videos because I think the color schemes and everything are just really beautiful. So go check those out. Hey, just really quick, there are a couple content creators that I forgot to include when I recorded this previously. And as I was editing, I realized I needed to add these in. One is the Weekly Wheel News. He's been creating content since 2018. He's got 81 different issues of hilarious, like tabloid style Wheel of Time news content. You've got to check him out. He's also got a Patreon page. Check him out. Also, 
Mike's book reviews. He recently finished the Wheel of Time series for his first time, and he's been following along, or he's been releasing videos over the course of his reading the series on his book review channel. And you should definitely check out his latest video where he talks about 400 days, 4.4 million words. It's really good. Definitely check that out. All right, back to the main content. Okay, that was quite the Wheel of Time roundup. I probably missed a bunch. I hope that this was fun for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Thank you guys. That was our first Wheel of Time roundup. What did you think? Let me know. See you guys next time. <laughs>